So what we have here today are three popular size of lenses for the um, Sony HS 1177 style cameras. What we have here is the 2.8 lens, a 2.5, and a 2.1. Now, these are all very popular in their own right, and honestly, a lot of it comes down to personal preference. So what we're gonna show you today is I got a little camera rig here, basically just a VTX rigged up to a power distribution board with a Foxeer HS 1177 camera. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put each one of these lenses on in a fixed position and show you a few of the differences of them. Uh, before we get to that, I'll just go ahead and talk you through a few of the differences of the lenses between 2.8, 2.5, and 2.1. So the 2.8 is what comes standard with most, most HS 1177 style cameras. Um, with the trend towards the newer ones are coming with a 2.1 lens with its increased popularity. The 2.8 is a much smaller field of view. So uh, you lose a little bit on the edges as far as your peripheral view when you're flying, but you, what you gain is clarity and a little bit better focus without the fisheye effect that you're going to get with some wider angle lenses like the 2.5 and the 2.1. Kind of on the other extreme end of things is this larger field of view 2.1 lens. This has become increasingly popular among racers because it, it allows you to turn a little bit differently in the gates. Um, for example, instead of having to yaw to kind of line yourself up with a 2.8 lens when you're coming into a gate, the 2.1 allows you to do some more um, bank style turns and uh, still have the gate in view as you're coming around at a certain angle that you won't be able to see if you had a 2.8 that has a limited uh, peripheral view to it. Kind of right down the middle is the 2.5 lens. It's kind of a happy medium between both. This is actually what I've been using for the past month or so and I, I've really enjoyed it. I've tried the 2.8 is what I started out with. The 2.1 I used for a little while, um, but wasn't a big fan of the, the wider field of view and almost the fisheye effect that I had around the edges of the screen. The 2.5 is gives you a little bit of both worlds. So you still have the clarity and the image focus that you're gonna find in the 2.8 but you do have a little bit more uh, peripheral vision on the outside of your screen like you gain with the 2.1 lens. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get these set up. We're gonna take some DVR footage from the goggles and show you a few differences and talk you through what you're seeing between the 2.8, 2.5, and 2.1 lenses for the HS 1177 cameras. So what you guys are seeing here is the 2.8 lens. So now we just have it facing the wall and we're gonna use our banner there as kind of a point of reference um, for you to be able to tell the field of view that you're gonna get. We have a few products laying there in front and you'll notice on this one, everything seems to be in focus and everything, nothing seems to be stretched around the fisheye effect that you may notice when we get to the 2.1 lens. Um, like I said, this lens is great for just kind of the casual flyer. Uh, you get a lot more clarity and a lot more uh, focus than you're going to find in the 2.5 or the 2.1 and so that is the advantage of a 2.8 lens. So this is the 2.5 lens on the 1177. Notice in comparison to the 2.8 you do see a little bit more of the wall and you can actually if you look towards the left start to see the chair there that's sitting out of frame. Um, like I said, you do see a little bit more on the peripheral edges. The advantage of this is you get a little bit wider field of view. You may see things uh, flying with a 2.5 that you won't see with a 2.8. All right, and here we have the 2.1 lens. Now, as you notice, even more than the 2.5, you do have this larger field of view. If you look towards the left of the screen, you will see that uh, chair almost entirely in the frame now. Um, from the 2.8, it wasn't even in the picture. 2.5, you started to see a little bit of the arm from it. And the 2.1, even larger. Now, if you look also to the right, you can see that plane sitting there, too. In the 2.8, you barely saw a tip of the wing, and you basically were only focused on the top of the counter. And notice you can also see almost entirely to the floor of that cabinet now, too. But what comes with that is this fisheye effect. If you looked at the baseboard, all the way through and to the ceiling, you will see it is a rounder, more elliptical 
um, fisheye effect. It may take some getting used to when it comes to your depth perception and knowing exactly how far you are from an object. It, it is a di little bit different feel than you're going to get from a 2.5 or a 2.8 lens. Again, this 2.1 has become very popular. Most 1177 cameras will ship with a 2.8, but a 2.1 lens is easily placed into the camera. All right, guys, so there you have it. You have the 2.8, the 2.5, and the 2.1 lens. Um, a lot of this comes down to per personal preference. Um, everybody I fly with has different opinions on it. Uh, so hopefully the, the video I showed you as far as the field of view will give you a little bit better idea of what you might like, what uh, might be an advantage to you, what you might dislike about certain um, parts of the different fields of view between the three. Well, have a good day guys. Thanks for watching.